Sport USA's Beers of the Week. I'm Aaron Bush, manager of Beertopia. I'm Chris Pettini, one of the bartenders down here, and we're going to continue with our employees' picks with uh, Amy. Amy. Hello. Amy's been down here, working here for, what, about four years? Four years, yes. Her and I have been to Germany a couple of times. She knows some good beers. I'm kind of excited to see what her picks are. So. What do you got? Our first beer we're going to try um, is a seasonal beer from Weyerbacher Brewing Company out of Easton, Pennsylvania, founded in 1995. It's an Imperial Pumpkin Ale, coming in at 8% ABV. Uh, this beer is seasonally available August through October. What do you got first, first uh, Weyerbacher Imperial Pumpkin. It is uh, seasonal. Or sort of like a dark orange color. Would that be from the pumpkin? One can only hope. Yeah, right? Wow, I love, I love, I love that the pumpkin beers have that pumpkin pie and glass smell. Mm -hmm. it smells very, very good. Uh, you get a lot of pumpkin pie sort of spices from it. Um, you get a lot of clove, like nutmeg. Mm -hmm, nutmeg. That's what I get is the nutmeg. That's good. Fair enough, because they got pumpkin beers in cold stock too. They've been brewing for a long time. Yeah. yeah, with all the spices in it, you really don't get the 8% right. from no, it. It's right. really easy to drink. So it's a dangerous pumpkin beer. I like to put a few in my fridge and save them for Thanksgiving and give them to my family and then laugh. It's <laughs> <laughs> be like a braised, maybe use part of it in the turkey meal, somewhere in the stuffing, or... I don't know, yeah. Pumpkin beer. This is a good one. It's a very good Nice one. first choice. Absolutely. You better get it before Amy drinks it all. Yeah, Cheers. I gotta order lots of it. <laughs> We're gonna taste Petrus Oak Aged Pale from Brarai Bavik in Bavikhov, Belgium. Founded in 1894, it is a fourth generation family owned and ran brewery. And this beer comes in with a 7.3 ABV. All right, what's the next beer you picked for us, Amy? Uh, this is the Petrus Old Aged Pale Ale. It's a sour beer, which is one of my favorite styles. Um, you like sour beer? What? I love sour beers. Um, this one's aged 24 to 30 months in oak barrels. Um, they call it the mother beer because they do blend it with other beers at their brewery. Um, I will. So, so they use this beer to create all their other stocks? Yeah, they blend nice. it a little bit or a certain amount of it with all their other beers. It smells beers. amazing. It does smell good. You can't, you can't film smell, that's for sure. I wish I could take a swim in that glass. It smells so good. Beer bath in Petra's. I like that you get the, the um, real earthy kind of aroma. You notice it's sweet or it's sour, but you don't notice it until you actually drink it, how tart it really is. Sweeters. Yeah, that's for sure. We have had it on tap a couple times. Yeah, rarely. But um, when it is here... Drink it gotta, fast. Yeah, you gotta get it while it's here because it does go fast. It has a nice drying kind of property. I mean, it makes my mouth real dry, even though it also makes it really, like, I want to drink a whole bunch. But I think it's really an excellent, excellent uh, sour beer, so. That's a great pick. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. The next beer is Modus Hopperonda. It's an IPA from Ska Brewing out of Durango, Colorado. The brewery was founded in 1995. The ABV is 6.8% and the 60, and 65 IBUs. All right, I know I'm very familiar with Amy's last pick here. What's this one, Amy? Uh, Modus Hopperandi. It's an IPA. Um, I don't think Amy's the only person that likes this beer. A lot of I, people I, love this beer. Know. So IPA is one of my favorite styles to have in the summer. This one's great because it comes in cans. You, you can take it anywhere. Uh, Anywhere that you normally can't take glass, the cans will go, so. Pop it in a koozie, right? Not yeah, deep, put it in a koozie. The green top sticks oh. out, no one even knows you have beer. Mountain Dew! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the aroma of this. It's, it's so just, piney and I want to smell the can, and then I want to smell the beer. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to eat the can, and I want to drink the beer. <laughs> yeah, it is like a pine forest. I mean, it's, it's just it's, like... It's some, just some citrus. really big American hops in there. Yeah, but it's balanced. It's, I definitely taste the red. I mean, with the red in there, I taste them all. 
Yeah, it's, it's a nice balanced IPA, but yet it's really big and hoppy. They do a really great job on this beer. Um, God, how much do you sell in the store? Right? Well, we've had Ska in Nebraska for roughly three years, and uh, we're well over a thousand cases. Just of cans? Just of, of, of Modus. Now, Modus went to cans, strictly cans, about a year and a half ago. Um, and so I keep it stacked next door, and it's the best seller in the store, hands down. And it's always on draft in the Crescent Moon, almost always. Yep. I mean, and we sell it just constantly, so. so yeah, here's to IPA. Wicked IPA. Wicked IPA. Good. Yeah. It's what everyone loves. Absolutely. Well, thanks again for joining us on Beers of the Week with our employee picks from Amy. Great picks, Amy. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Cheers awesome. again. And guys, don't forget to check us out on Facebook. We've got pages for all the bars. Uh, go to our website. Go to beercornerusa.com, keep up to everything going on, and then sign up for that free e-newsletter. It's available not only on the, the website or over in Beertopia, and every week we're going to send you a newsletter that tells you all the new beer tapped in all the bars, everything new in Beertopia, and all the events going on. What better email to get once a week than one that tells you all about good beer? So until next week, cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Amy. Thanks for having me. Anytime. <laughs> Any time. La 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 la.